Long-Haired Country Boy by Charlie Daniels will be played in drop D tuning. If you don't know what that means, it's where we take our sixth string, which is usually at an E, and we drop the tuning on it so that it's at a D. So it should match your fourth string. Like in uh, the same note, it would be an octave lower though. All right. Um, and in the intro to this lesson, I was playing two guitars. Uh, the guitar that was in the left channel was in drop D. The guitar in the right channel was in standard tuning. Um, but to get the full effect of this walk down, you're going to need to, or you're going to want to have that low D on the end of it. So the opening lick, uh, the opening lick just begins on strumming a D chord. Uh, you're going to have your first finger on the three string two fret, ring finger on the two string three fret, second finger on the one string two fret. And you're going to be plucking the open four string, pluck it, and then hit down across the chord, and then pluck the open four string again and hit down across the chord so that you got. After that, you you have that little lick will begin by hitting or plucking rather the open five string and then hammering on with your first finger to the five string two fret. Then you hit the open four string so that we've got and then we'll come back and hit the five string two fret again where our first finger should still be roughly and then we'll finish this little part of the lick by taking our second finger putting it on the four string three fret we pluck that and we're going to bend that note after we pluck it so that we're kind of bending it up towards one fret higher but instead of sliding up there, we're bending to it. And then we're going to open the four string, and in opening it, we're going back into our strumming pattern. But here, instead of just striking the open four string each time, which is what it does on the D in the intro, here we begin to alternate between open four string, open five string on the D. Four, five, four, Five. And the song from here on out, in the strumming pattern of the verses, it keeps that two-beat uh, bass rhythm, essentially, where you're hitting um, the one and the five of the chord. D, A, four string, five string. Um, oh, hang on a second. There's a second part of that lick that I've just about forgotten all about. So, so after you hit the... Um, that F note right there, pull it and hit back into the open D chord, we then have... The way that you're going to pull off that last part, you're going to put your first finger on the three string five fret, and I kind of deaden all the other strings with my uh, left hand finger so that I can strum across muted strings, but I can get that three string five fret to ring out. So you want the three string five fret to, red out, uh, to ring out, and then you'll open up the, uh, the three string. And then we're going to come with our ring finger or second finger or first finger, whichever is most comfortable to you, to the four string seven fret. And from this point forward, we're going to fret and then open and fret and open, fret and open our way down from the, uh, all in the four string, from the seven fret to the five fret to the three fret. And then we're going to go so let me replay this little lick running down. It's the three string five fret to three string open to the four string seven fret, four string open, four string five fret, four string open, four string three fret, four string open. And then we're going to hit the open five string again, hammer on with our first finger to the five string two fret, hit the open four string behind it, and then hammer on with our first finger to the five to the four string two fret, and then open up the four string and go back into our D our, our D chord strum. And here is where I was meaning to talk about the two beat uh, strum of four five open four open five in the D chord. Um, before I continue on these other chords, it's worth mentioning that. In the intro, while the main guitar is hitting that little lick down of, 
it sounds to me like a second guitar comes in on this chord which is I've got an open four string I've got my second finger on the three string two fret I've got my first finger on the two string one fret and my pinky finger on the one string three fret strumming from the four string down later this re this chord will just get rep replaced by a C but in the intro, I think, to me, it sounds like it's this chord. All right, so the chord progression, once we get past the intro, will be a droning on the D. And it holds that for, I don't know, like 10 measures, 8 measures, 12 measures. I really didn't count it, but it just holds on that D uh, for verse lyrics for a really long time before shifting to a G chord. The way that you'll play the G chord in drop D tuning is that with your ring finger, you'll put your ring finger on the 6 string 5 fret, your ring finger will be muting out the 5 string, so 6 string 5 fret, muted 5, open 4 string, open 3 string, then put your first finger down on the 2 string 3 fret. You've got a G chord. Um, during this G chord, one of the two guitars is shifting between a G and a G7, which if you want to play that in drop D, it's a little bit more difficult. You would need to have some arrangements, uh, some arrangement of fingers fretting those two notes, but then you would want to contort your hand so that you could fret something. I'm using my second finger to fret the four string three fret. That gives you that seventh feel. It's a lot easier in standard tuning to play that seventh chord. So if we're in standard tuning, what we would do is out of a standard G shape, we would just fret the first string on the first fret while leaving the rest of our G intact. Alright, but we're still in drop D. So that G chord. Um, it's worth mentioning that it could be useful to walk up to this G chord out of the D by going uh, That would be a six string, and I'm really playing it with my thumb, my second, and ring fingers walking it up. But essentially what it is, is six string two fret, to six string three fret, to six string four fret into the G chord. Whenever we get to that G chord, the two beat will be the six string five fret and the four string open. Hit down, hit down, five down, four down, uh, or six down, four down, six down, four down. Uh, then it comes back up to the D. And then it's going to go to an A chord. Just bar with your first finger across the second fret of strings 4, 3, and 2. Um, now here in the A chord, I tend to grab with my thumb the 6 string 2 fret, which is an E, so that I can go open 5 string and then the 6 string for that E note. But if you're in standard tuning, of course, it would just be the open 5 string, open 6 string, open 5 string inside of this A chord. And then we've got... You've got a walk down in the chorus. So after that A chord, I pull up into a C shape, like a C add 9 shape, by putting my 2nd and ring fingers down on the 5 and 3 string 2nd fret. And as I'm hitting that chord, I slide my uh, second and ring fingers up one fret to the third frets of strings five and two. And then go with your first finger to the five string two fret. So we're once we're in the C, we're immediately walking down to basically an F chord by going uh, the C note to a B note, five string two fret, to the open five string, to the G chord, down to the six string three fret which will pluck and kind of pull and then release into that big low D, uh, that big low D chord with the low six string on the bottom. So slowly that is happening like. And then it goes back into the lick. Um, after the, after that lick the second time, the second guitar plays what to me sounds like a C add nine. Basically, second finger on the five string, three fret, first finger on the four string, two fret, open three string, 
uh, ring finger on the two string three fret, pinky finger on the one string three fret, while the main guitar again is repeating the So I think that's everything that you need to know about this song. Those are the chords and the movements to Long-Haired Country Boy by Charlie Daniels. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.